friends welcome to my channel Thanesh here I am going to discuss about quantum entanglement the theory behind quantum entanglement challenged the prevalent theories of physics and the beliefs of the most famous scientists so I start off by sharing the quotes of Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking the most famous scientists of all time let's start see quantum entanglement so first let me discuss about einstein's quote about the universe this is the quote from einstein as i have said so many times god doesn't play dice with the universe this is the quote from albert einstein this is the quote from Stephen Hawking. Not only does God play dice, but he sometimes throws them where they cannot be seen. So what is this quantum entanglement? Now I am going to discuss about the most weirdest phenomenon in science, quantum entanglement. After understanding quantum entanglement, you may think God may play dice with the universe. What is this uncanny phenomenon quantum entanglement? See quantum entanglement is a phenomenon observed at the quantum scale or atomic scale where entangled particles stay connected so that the actions performed on one of the particles affects the other no matter the distance between two particles even at a distance of light years next i am going to discuss see we need to understand how we can create this entangled particles how wave function and entangled particles are related that's what i am going to discuss so first let me talk about wave function see wave function in quantum mechanics a variable quantify or a variable quantity sorry uh, a variable quantity that mathematically describes the wave characteristics of a particle the value of the wave function of a particle at a given point of space and time is related to the likelihood of the particles being there at the time it is possible to separate two subatomic particles and both are described by a single wave function these two particles are entangled see how do you create quantum entanglement that's what i am going to discuss now for that uh, this is the experiment a simple experiment uh, we can uh, by using this simple experiment we can create quantum entanglement the vast majority of quantum entanglement experiments to date use photons as the entangled particles for the simple reason that it's really easy to entangle the two photons in these experiments they put a bunch of calcium atoms into a highly excited energy level where the electron is forbidden to return to the ground state by emitting a single photon the emission of one photon is followed within a few nanoseconds by the emission of the second these two photons are entangled so this is the way you can create quantum uh, sorry entangled particles now how spin is related to quantum entanglement that's what i am going to discuss in quantum mechanics and particle physics spin is an intrinsic form of angular momentum carried by elementary particles spin is one of two types of angular momentum in quantum mechanics the other being orbital angular momentum by law of conservation of angular momentum spin is conserved 
spin is constant consider a parent particle it's shown in the figure with zero spin and let it decay into two particles as discussed spin is a conserved quantity and it can never change if the parent particle has spin sorry if the parent particle has zero spin then the two daughter particles must have opposite spin so if one has a spin pointing left the other one must be right if one is up the other must be down hence when we add the two we get zero and hence the spin is conserved the angular momentum is conserved this is the simplest example of a pair of entangled particles and they are governed by a single wave function next uh, I am going to discuss about Einstein's spooky action at a distance. See, as long as the entangled particles don't interact with anything, you can separate the particles feet, miles or even huge distances and the two particles are connected by a single wave function and they will have separate spin. As you know, the quantum world is intrinsically probabilistic. We can't predict the outcome of a measurement before we make it. It's really uncanny when we measure the spin direction of the both entangled particles. If the horizontal spin direction of one particle is left, then the spin direction of the other particle must be right. We can measure the spin direction of the two particles in quick succession very fast. We know that the fastest thing in this universe is light one foot in one billionth of a second or you know the speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter second raised to minus 1. Let us assume that the two entangled particles are separated at one foot. After measurement we understood that the quantum information can travel faster than light. Albert Einstein dismissed quantum entanglement as spooky action at a distance. Over the past few deca uh, decades, however, physicists have demonstrated the reality of spooky action over ever greater distance, even from Earth to a satellite in space. The minimum speed of the entanglement is 1,44,500 times the speed of light. Next is I am going to discuss about Bohr-Einstein debates. Uh, this was really uh, you know important at that time. The bohr einstein even now as well. The Bohr-Einstein debates were a series. Oh, sorry, were a series of public disputes about quantum mechanics between Albert Einstein and Niels Bohr. Their debates are remembered because of their importance to the philosophy of science. Bohr proposed that entities such as electrons had only probabilities if they weren't observed. Einstein argued that they had independent reality prompting his famous claim that God does not play with the universe. After understanding quantum entanglement, it is clear that God does play with dice, sorry, God does play dice with the universe and sometimes throws them where they cannot be seen. I am going to discuss about quantum teleportation. Before uh, getting into quantum teleportation, uh, let me give an idea about teleportation. 
See, teleportation is the hypothetical transfer of matter or energy from one point to another without traversing the physical space between them. It is a common subject in science, fiction, uh, literature, film, video games and television. To understand a quantum teleportation, we need to understand quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is an uncanny phenomenon observed at the quantum scale or atomic scale where entangled particles stay connected so that the actions performed on one of the particles affects the other no matter the distance between two particles even at a distance of light years quantum teleportation is a process in which quantum information can be transmitted from one location to another with the help of classical communication and previously shared quantum entanglement between the sending and receiving location. Quantum information means the exact state of an atom or photon. Quantum teleportation depends on classical communication which can proceed no faster than speed of light it cannot be used for faster than light transport or communication of classical bits while it has proven possible to teleport one or more qubits of information between two entangled quanta but this has not yet been achieved between anything larger than molecules quantum teleportation is not a form of transportation but of communication it provides a way of transferring a qubit from one location to another quantum teleportation was coined by physicist charles bennett quantum teleportation was first realized in single photons later being demonstrated in various material systems such as atoms ions, electrons, and superconducting circuits. The latest reported record distance for quantum teleportation is 1,400 km by the group of GNV PAN using Messier satellite for space-based quantum teleportation. Next, we will discuss on quantum teleportation protocol. The prerequisites for quantum teleportation are a qubit that is to be teleported, a conventional communication channel capable of transmitting two classical bits, and means of generating an entangled EPR pair of qubits. Transporting each of these two different locations A and B performing a bell measurement on one of the EPR pair qubits and manipulating the quantum state of the of the other pair. An EPR pair means einstein fedorsky rosen pair is a pair of qubits or quantum bits that are in bell state together. The bell states, a concept in quantum information science, are specific quantum states of two qubits that represent the simplest examples of quantum entanglement. The bell states are a form of entangled and normalized basis vectors. We will discuss about the experimental results. Walk in 1998 verified the initial predictions and the distance of teleportation was increased in August 2004 to 600 meters using optical fiber. Subsequently, the record distance for quantum teleportation has been gradually increased up to 16 kilometers, then to 97 kilometers and is now 143 kilometer certain open air experiment in the Canary Islands 
than between the two astronomical observatories of the Institute Autophysia de Canarias. Uh, there has been a recent record set as of September 2015 using superconducting nanowire detectors that reach the distance of 102 km over optical fiber. For material systems, the record distance is 21 meter. Researchers have also successfully used quantum teleportation to transmit information between clouds of gas atoms, notable because the clouds of gas are macroscopic atomic ensembles. In 2018, physicist at Yale demonstrated a deterministic teleported C0 operation between logically encoded qubits. That's all about quantum teleportation. Next thing I want to discuss is about photosynthesis. How quantum coherence helps in photosynthesis in living cells. Let's see. See, quantum coherence deals with the idea that all objects have wave-like properties. If an object's wave-like nature is split in two, then the two waves may coherently interfere with each other in such a way as to form a single state that is a superposition of the two states. A quantum system can exist in multiple states or places at the exact same time. In other words, something can be here and there or up and down at the same time. It's magical. See, photosynthesis is the process by which green plants and certain other organisms like bacteria transforms light energy into chemical energy. During photosynthesis in green plants, light energy is captured and used to convert water, comma, carbon dioxide and minerals into oxygen and oxygen-rich organic compounds. The world of science was shocked when a paper was published about the experimental evidence for the quantum coherence happening inside the bacteria during photosynthesis. Quantum coherence happens inside a living cell. When two quantum sized particles, for example a pair of electrons, are entangled, any change to one will be instantly reflected in the other, no matter how far apart they might be. Though physically separated, the two particles act as a single entity. There is strong evidence for quantum entanglement in noisy non-equilibrium system at high temperatures by determining the time scales and temperatures for which entanglement is observable in a protein structure that is central to photosynthesis in certain bacteria. This, this research is done by Berkeley Lab in US. Next thing I would like to discuss is about migration of birds. That is the migration of European robins. Let's see. One fifth of Earth's 10,000 bird species migrate over great distances, crossing seemingly in insurmountable obstacles as they follow the seasons. Scientists have long wondered how birds read Earth's magnetic field to navigate. European robins may maintain condom entanglement in their eyes a full 20 microseconds longer than the best laboratory systems, say physicists investigating how birds may use condom effects to see Earth's magnetic field. Quantum entanglement is a state where electrons are spatially separated but able to affect one another. 
It's been proposed that birds' eyes contain entanglement based compasses. Conclusive proof doesn't yet exist, but multiple lines of evidence suggest it. Findings like this one underscore just how sophisticated those compasses may be. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.